In this video, we're going to talk about rational and irrational numbers. So what is the difference between a rational and an irrational number? What would you say? Well, first, what is a rational number? A rational number is any number that, be, that can be written as a ratio of two integers. For example, a fraction like 3 over 4 is a rational number, or negative 7 over 6. These are rational numbers because you can write them as a ratio of two integers. And remember, integers are basically whole numbers, natural numbers, or even uh, negative numbers like these. These are all integers. So here's a question for you. Is an integer a rational number or an irrational number? For example, the integer 8. Would you put it on a left column or on a right column? So can we write 8 as a ratio of two integers? We can write 8 as 16 divided by 2. So 8 is a rational number. What about a negative number like a negative 5? Is that a rational number? Negative 5 can be written as a ratio of two integers. You can write it as negative 10 divided by 2. So negative 5 is a rational number. In fact, all integers are rational numbers. Now, what about, let's say, decimal numbers? For instance, 0.25. Is that rational or irrational? Can we write this as a fraction using two integers? 0.25 is the same as 25 divided by 100. And if you divide the top and the bottom number by 25, this is the same as 1 over 4. So if you have a decimal number that is finite, that comes to an end, like 0.25, that's a rational number. Another example is 0.15. This, you can write that as 15 divided by 100. And if you divide the top and the bottom numbers by 5, you can reduce that to 3 over 20. Now, what about repeating decimals? For instance, let's say if we have 0.6666 repeating, which we can write as 0.6 with a line on top. Is that rational or irrational? 0.6 repeating is 6 over 9, which you could reduce that to 2 over 3 if you divide by 3. So repeating decimals are rational numbers. Another example is 0.2 repeating. This is 2 over 9. Now what about, let's say, 0.17 repeating? Is that a rational number? In this case, we can write it as a ratio of two integers. 0.17 repeating is 17 over 99. So whether you have a finite decimal number or one that goes on forever but repeats, they're all rational numbers. Now, what about square roots? For instance, the square root of 9 would you say it's rational or irrational? The square root of 9 is 3, and 3 is an integer, and all integers are rational numbers. But now, what about the square root of 7? Is it rational or irrational? We can't simplify the square root of 7 to a whole number. So if you use a calculator, you'll find that the square root of 7 is 2.645 seven five one three one and this can go on for a long time so whenever you see a decimal number that is non-repeating and that goes on forever and if you can't write it as a fraction of two integers that's when you have an irrational number so one way to identify them is if you have a square root that can't be simplified to an integer typically that's an irrational number now what about pi is pi rational or irrational? So if you type pi into your calculator, you're going to get a decimal number that looks like this, 
3.141596565, and this also goes on. So pi is an irrational number. Another example is the number e. If you get the decimal value for that, it's 2.718281822, and so forth. So that's how you can identify irrational numbers. It's basically numbers with an infinite number of decimal places. It goes on forever. And you can't write it as a ratio of two integers. And so that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to identify a rational number and an irrational number. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.